Today I'm taking a first look at the Black Toe Reimagine Air Jordan 1 High OG. Starting with the box, as you guys can see, they used the image from back in the day. On this pair, they actually had the Air Jordan instead of the Wings logo, which is like an OG thing that we saw. And we'll get into the history and everything in the future. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick first look, some detailed shots, let you guys get your impressions of it, talk about the release and what's happening. And then I'll give you guys a full detailed review and breakdown with different comparisons of the other retros and the in the BMP pack. And I'm trying to get my hands on the OG and stuff like that. But either way, just kind of wanted to give you guys a first look. So this box right here, as you can see, way different than your classic Air Jordan 1 style box, black with the red Nike Air. So I like how they did that and told the story through the reimagine. And that's something cool about it. Now on the tag, it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, white, black, varsity, red in sale, size 13, just for me. And retail on these, I think is 180 bucks. But they got pushed back to next year. You know, every time it's a new year, they start to raise the retail prices. So who knows? They might be 180. Next thing you know, they're 190, 1 200. At this point, all the Jordans, even if it's ones, they're probably gonna be over $200. But looking at the paper right here, you can see you got some different images as well. Typically, you have like just a white paper, but on here, there's a bunch of different photos. Now, I'll go through this in the in depth review for you guys, and we'll get into that later. But you got the white paper, as you can see right here. And then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So I picked these up when I was at SneakerCon New York, and I had a couple of people <laughs> review these shoes as well. And this is what they said. Oh, here at SneakerCon, let's see what people think about the new Black Toe Ones. Rate this a 10 out of 10. Trash. What the fuck is this? Bring back the Wings logo. We don't want this Walmart StockX bullshit. We want the OG ones. And not that shit they got in the picture neither. We want the Wings logo. This shit is trash. I give it a 10. A 10. Honest? I would give them a 9. I think these are better than the old pair, for real. Just the little details? Yeah, bro. These are a 9. Not that much of a 1's guy, but I'll give this a 9. I'm gonna give this a 9. First impression rated out of 10, I give it an 8.5. Michael Jordan logo, uh, signature on the inside, decent touch, but I'm not a fan of the Rare Air replacing the Wings logo. But other than that, cool shoe, but the Wings logo missing it, it don't make it a retro one to me. I'm, I'm not a fan. Definitely some very interesting takes to say the least. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So besides everybody else's personal opinions about the shoes, when it comes to me and how I think about them, Honestly, I feel like they did a really good job on this shoe. Could it have been better? Yes, but at the same time, I like how they executed the sneaker. And it's a cool switch up to give us that Air Jordan branding and going along with the box and giving us that storytelling aspect as well, similar to the OG, because this could have been something that we had seen forever. And they, if they would have never done the Wings logo, this might have been what we got. So I like how they went about that. Some people had gripes about the size of the Air Jordan branding. They wish it would have been bigger. They wish it had been printed differently, all different things. A lot of people have their opinions. Again, let me know down below in the comment section. But just kind of wanted to show you guys some detailed looks at the sneaker real quick so we'll run through it real fast on the bottom you got your all red air jordan 1 og retro modern day outsole when it comes to that and then you got your sale colored midsole right here with the sale stitch and then to the upper you have your classic black toe air jordan 1 blocking and on the vamp right here you're gonna have a white leather and then the black leather right here around the side around the toe cap now when it comes to the actual leather i would say these are a lot more similar to the lost and found air jordan ones just kind of like on the feel the look and just you know what I'm saying like how it goes you know a little bit more matted look when it comes to the uh, texture and color to the eye and then also the feel of it feels a little bit thicker a little bit softer I like how they did a good job on that as well the toe cap and then the side panel it's kind of soft but it's a lot more stiff on that area and then on the back end that red leather is gonna be similar to the collar and the front end around the toe with the black hits so I want to put these next two again in the uh, full review and breakdown and everything I want to put them next to the lost and founds as well to see the material differences and how similar they really are but off of first impressions that kind of gives me that same vibe so going along with the reimagine and the upgraded materials and things like that I think they did a good job so far on that part now one thing that is kind of interesting though which we'll talk about later the swoosh it feels like it's not the same leather like it's like plasticky or something maybe i'm tripping i'll get into the details later i kind of just give him my first looks at the shoe so i haven't really got a chance to really like dissect it all and go through everything nine nine out of ten i just wish there was the wings logo but 
9 out of 10. Now going to the inside of the ankle right here on the collar, you have your Jordan signature right here in red, and some people said they would have preferred it be in black, more you know similar to like an actual autograph and signature and, and message on the shoe. And then they're like, well, they only did it on one, not both, and all the other things. So again, another thing that people want to talk about, just wanted to bring that up real quick. And then on the sock liner right here, you got all white with your black Nike Air branding and then your black collar right here. Now, when it comes to the insoles, I'm very interested to see how they did on this looks like you got a dream cell insole on here that's gonna be your black right there a lot of people prefer polyurethane on everything but we say if anything give us polyurethane on the OG's in particular so for that some people may not be happy but it is what it is and another big thing an elephant in the room whatever you want to call it you have a black tongue instead of a white tongue now there was a black tongue version and a white tongue version back in 1985 but the white tongue version is the one that came out to the public and we did see the black tongue kind of more of like a sample and then we saw that on the low tops which again we'll get into that when we get over the history video but just another thing to bring up and these come standard with a pair of red laces and a pair of black laces I'm sure they would look dope with some white laces or some cell laces maybe even some yellow laces I don't know maybe something to switch it up let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comment section um I, did, it's, I mean it's still a clean shoe i'll probably give it a cool little seven i have poll results i'm gonna do all that stuff i'm gonna make sure i give you guys some nice detailed looks i think i might have asked my dad about these if i didn't I'll make sure I get his opinions as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see any more reviews like this or any early looks or quick looks or whatever it may be, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I got a ton more stuff. I'm trying to bang all these videos out. I've been crazy busy. I know we got to do a life update video as well, which will be coming very soon. And we got some more content coming with the short form stuff. So if you guys want to check me out on other platforms where we see different reviews, interviews, early looks whatever they're all on you know snapchat tiktok instagram i like to post stuff in different places so hit me on all those platforms i'll see you guys in another one all right y'all i'm out well quite honestly i i'm a huge jordan one fan as you can tell by what's on my feet uh the quality on this oh very nice quality very soft leather I absolutely love the sneaker. Hopefully I'm able to get them. Hopefully the Jordan one is still dead uh, the time that it, it comes out. I personally like the Air Jordan on the side there, more so than the wings. A lot of people are having problems with that. They don't like it. I do. Uh, it's more to the original. I think it's a fantastic sneaker and I want it. That's for sure. Ready 10 out of 10. 10 to 10? 10, 10. Or out of 10, yeah. 10. Okay. 10, Perfect. all day long, 10, possibly 11, Ooh. possibly 11. Right. It's a Jordan 1, can't go wrong. Greatest triple color combination, triple color combination history. Right. That's it. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make when I'm aware today. I would never let you down,